is up dudes welcome back to andrew pem and youtube i think i've now got this microphone fixed so those of you guys with headphones on uh if there's no buzzing i've actually fixed it uh hopefully okay welcome back today to my youtube review channel for electric skateboards and today we've got another fantastic unbox um for those of you guys that are looking at a belt drive who are about to maybe look at getting a boosted stealth which i was looking at getting i've got the boosted mini um, we've got today the latest offering again from a great company. I've worked and unboxed a few uh, boards from them and that is Vestar Board. Uh, I must say there's no affiliation of the company. This is not a paid advertisement. I'm independently reviewing this board. Uh, it arrived and because I've got the white gloves on and the worldwide top, you'll know that I'm doing it for the very first time anywhere in the world or anywhere on YouTube. No one has looked at this yet or seen it. It's only on the website. So let's uh, get into it. Let's open it up and have a look and see what we got here. Um, this is the, uh, it's a thinner version than the Vestar board. Uh, well, I have the, v, the V2 um, uh, and then the V2 Pro came out. Um, so there's been a few versions, uh, could be the wrong way, but we'll get it around here. I think some of the fun of this uh, watching is unboxing. I don't believe to not unbox something uh, is time wasting because um yeah actually i have to take these off because i know in the past i can't really unbox it with these gloves on so just give me a second i'll take these off but the point is it's a first unbox with a white glove so you know that a big shout out to emily and to frank at best star boards thanks for entrusting me with this as a worldwide first unbox i'll go through the stuff in a second now let's open up have a look is there a box inside a box or not you can sit before me even Oh no, so no box inside a box, this is it. Um, okay. Let's have a look. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> this is the first time anywhere in the world that you'll actually see this unboxed at this point in time on the 31st, or is it the 31st of uh, October 2019. Let's check it out. Ah! Let me say, I have seen the latest uh, mini coming out of Vestar board and I could not believe how close it looked to a boosted and I've got a boosted mini X. So um, I knew the quality of that board and when I saw that I was hoping this would be like a stealth uh, killer and it looks to me in every way from here like it's going to be a bit of a boosted stealth killer. So let's get it out have a look at it. Wow. Okay. Oh. Oh, I love the smell of new technology. It's beautiful. Okay, we'll put that just there for now. You can have a good look at that. I love these Australian plugs. I'm sick of buying those adapters for them all the time. I'm loving yes! this kind of stuff. We've got the charger. We've got, oh, thank you very much for the nose guards. Uh, skate tool. It's a three amp. That's good. A three amp will give it a lot more faster charge rate, so that's great. A new hobby wing, uh, wow, it's embossed on there, beautiful with the uh, Vestar board logo. Okay, so, um, right, so they've done something different with this one where they're actually using a 30 amp delivery to the motors, because these motors are gonna be 1500 watts each, and these are gonna be the biggest, these are the biggest motors coming out at the moment at China. I love those little belts. Less friction, less noise. I love the whole finish. Let's have a good look at it. So 38 inch deck by the looks of it. It's super thin. This is the thinnest board I've seen coming out of China at the moment. That looks to be like about less than half an inch. It's got a fiberglass finish through the center for flex. Um, yeah, metal, metal belt covers. Uh, I love the whole look of this. Let's have a look at this. We'll get it and have a look at it now. Look at this. Oh, it's super light. So it goes to show you a lot of the deck uh, weight comes from the deck on these boards because this is a super thin deck and it's it's a lot lighter i'd say it's about from guessing i'd say 7.3 7.4 kilos um yeah look at that a beautiful drop down nice camber 
very much copying uh, the exact look of this stealth uh, from Boosted. Yeah, uh, metal casing all embossed in here with the, the new you know, Vestar board logo and Vestar all embossed in here beautifully. Uh, you got a phone charger on here. Oh, the beautiful cabling with the saddle at the bottom, uh, the motors. Uh, these are going to be 5065, 5065. They're big motors. These are bigger than what's currently out there. This has got a top speed of 46 kilometers per hour. It's, I love the little symbol in the front, reminiscent of the boosted. Um, it's a beautiful swirl on the new design on this. So uh, I, I'm loving it. Jeez, this looks nice. Now, also I've got the new remote. Now, this is the new Hobby Wing custom build for Vestar board. It's got the embossed Vesta board symbol on there. So handy when you lose your remote, so you're trying to find which remote works with, with which board. Uh, so this is all custom. It's supplying 30 amps. It's a 270 kV motor, so it's a lot of torque. It's supply 15 amps to each motor. It works on the principle of supplying the right current and amperage when it's needed. It's similar to what the booster board does, but that does it much more sophisticated. I normally always get the uh, standard battery. All reviewers get standard batteries. I love these big hexagonal heads with the washers and the lovely new, as you can see now, the nice new swirl on the front, very <laughs> reminiscent of the boosted. Nice free play on those motors. Um, the cabling is gorgeous. The trucks are nice. Uh, I love the riding on the front truck. So this is a sexy looking board. I mean, look at that. I mean, that would be the thumbnail. Uh, um, Look at that, that's just a beautiful board. I mean, really is. I'll do the HD video of it again. So I'm not gonna muck around talking too much about it. We're gonna get and ride it and see its performance. I'll, I'll do uh, the long range probably within the next five days. This is sexy. I mean, this is now, this is the new couple of notches up now, what's coming out of China. And this, uh, yeah, this is something that is a head turner. I mean, I'm just loving this. I just hope you can pick this up on the camera, how beautiful this is. This is quite a new a new benchmark now in what they're bringing out of China. So this will be, look, you know, a Stealth $2,490 or $2,500 Australian dollars. This comes at $799 US. There'll be discount codes as well for my subscribers. Something, you know, that's gonna be affordable and it's gonna be actually uh, reliable. Now I haven't actually tested this or ridden it yet. So this is all my uh, anticipation of what this is gonna do. But knowing I've ridden, I've owned uh, two Vestar boards, the SUV, I, I ride it everywhere. It's my favorite <laughs> long board at the moment, that SUV, I absolutely love it. And of course the V2 I got about six months ago has a Mr. Beat. So with that history, I'm, I'm predicting this will be a pretty, a pretty decent build. And um, I'm pr predicting this will be performance plus. So there we go. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty uh, impressive setup. Let's go through some of the stats on the website. I'll do it very quickly because I know I don't want to bore you with it. So let's have a look. Um, so let's go through straight away, uh, have a look at the website. There's the website, as you can see. Um, that's the, they've got the V2 Pro on there. There is the, board. that's the little mini. I've had a look at that. Now Scott, uh, Scott Davies, a friend of mine, I've inspired to start a YouTube channel. He's um, been encouraged by me. He's got a great channel. Check out, he's done the Vestar board mini review and I've seen it and this is as good if not even more premium this new beautiful Night Fury 799 there you go you can also option for a hub mode if you want a quieter system uh, or you want a more waterproof system the hub will be the go uh, there we go looking now these trucks are a bit different you've got the, um, the, the obviously it's a unique holder and the way these actual um, uh, motor mounts are done they're really a nice design you can flip them reverse in or out if you want to have them the motor sitting in like I've got like the boosted or sitting out uh, it's a much better system. Now it's the 5065 motors that's more powerful than the 5045s and you know it really is, um, it's quite a unique, you can you can use obviously different teeth, you can on this because it's, look at the specs here, um, the different drive, different wheels and different supplies, different teeth so you can adjust your wheel sizes. There we go, Samsung 35E 14 amp hour, that's insane for this price, 799, 28 mile range. Yeah, there's the that's IP65. This is a very good waterproofing on this. And yeah, 8.5 kilograms, so it's quite nice to carry. You've got the Hobby Wing 270 kV motors, and this is gonna have one hell of a kick to it. But it'll also have that smooth, beautiful uh, takeoff you have with the, you know, the Hobby Wing. As we know, the Hobby Wing does. It's got a lovely smooth takeoff, but it'll have a bit more bite than that, I'm hoping. Now, I haven't actually ridden this. This is the first look of it. I'm the first guy in the world to unbox it as of the state, 31st of October, 2019. Let's get out tomorrow, have a look at the drone up, get on the beaches, have it really tests. But all in all, it's looking pretty good. So I think what we need to do now is get out and have a look at it. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching today's Unbox. This is the board to get. If you're looking at getting a boosted board, a stealth, if you're looking at getting something uh, to do long commutes and a lot of power, and you're a big guy, uh, this is certainly 90 millimeter wheel, 78A. Um, this is a sexy looking board, and it's probably one of my favorite um, unboxes so far. Yeah, let's get out, and uh, I'll give my first impressions on the uh, Vestar board, Night Fury. 1500 watt belt drive or uh, optional hub motor system with the very half inch tiny slim deck uh, with fiberglass flex. So camber, beautiful, very good. Let's get number right. Okay, so first impressions, uh, this is an insanely, <laughs> there goes Scott Davies, we're doing a collaborated kind of a, a filming today. Uh, yeah, this is an amazing ride, this board. Um, super smooth, refined, beautiful. Yeah, it's just lovely. Uh, the braking needs to be a little bit firmer. Up a hill here now, we'll test this. I've only got half a battery left. Yeah, it's taken that hill really well. Um, so basically in a nutshell, yeah, this is definitely um, a smooth ride. It's super fast, super quick. Yeah, I like it. Very impressed. Um, the braking is quite nice. There you go.
night. Yeah, well, it's kind of manly where I live. It's a great spot. Um, okay, first ride around here. I picked this car park because it's kind of steep. It's kind of all on an angle, a good you know, 16, 17 degree gradient to test the power of these motors out. Uh, so far, really impressed. It's really nice. It's a different feel to the existing belt drive fleet they have, which is the Ling Yi second generation, sort of its own uh, type uh, controller. This is working with the Hobby Wing. I get what they're doing. Um, it's, a, it's a very smooth ride, extremely smooth takeoff, extremely smooth braking, but I feel maybe it could have a bit more punch. I'll have a chat to the uh, to their star board about my, um, my any the feedback I can give them. However, having said that, it's brilliant. It's absolutely the safest board I've ever actually ever ridden at this speed and the power it's got. So uh, first class work, guys. So we'll head off now, have a ride around. I'll do a long range distance test on the battery, which will be a killer, because it's supposed to be about a 40 kilometer range battery. We'll check that out and uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in a couple of days. So till then, happy skating, safe skating. Andrew Penman signing off. Thank <laughs> you.